Yo, what's up everyone? So I wanna get in the habit of dropping some short form videos on this channel as well. Just things that you can do in Photoshop that don't necessarily require like full on 40 plus minute tutorials. Those long form tutorials aren't going anywhere, but I just wanna drop like a quick tips um, video every now and then, maybe it's 30 seconds, two, three minutes, whatever, but just real short videos. So yesterday I dropped this winter mock-ups kit um, over on fullermo.com. It's got a knit beanie in there, um, knit sweater, puffer jacket, ski mask, workwear jacket, some dope mock-ups for winter. Um, but what I want to show you today is how you can use these bonus patterns that I included as well. Um, basically how you can apply patterns to any mock-up that you get, whether it's from me or anyone else, right? So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the patterns file and you can just drag it down to the Photoshop icon and let go on top of the icon. If you're on PC, I believe when you do that, it'll pin to the Photoshop icon. And then when you hover over it, it'll show a list of different presets um, or tools that you've installed. And then you just double click um, on whatever you're trying to use and it'll install, okay? So from here, go up to Window, Patterns, and you'll see this Patterns window, window will pop up and you'll see the different patterns that are included in this um, in this PAT file, right? So if you wanna apply any of these to your mock-up, whether it's a puffer jacket like this, a hoodie, a shirt, whatever, just go to the layer um, A that's that's showing, and then B, like it's the it's whatever layer you would be changing the color of. So like there's multiple ways you can change colors on mock-ups. In my case, I included a bunch of um, preset colors, so all I have to do is just like, um, hide different colors and um, it changes it, right? So that's one way to do it, but not all mockups are created equal. So sometimes you, you, you'll you just have one layer like this that you'll have to double click and then you can just do like a color overlay on it. So if you wanted to change it to whatever, this is how you would do it, right? So if you wanna apply a pattern to it, I recommend using black as your base. So it with all of my mockups, black is usually just the very first color. And so you can just click this, make sure it's highlighted, and then just go over to your patterns box and just start clicking patterns. And it'll change it right away. It's pretty dope. Okay, if you wanna make it look more realistic, you can even go up to your blend mode here and change it to screen and that'll knock out any of the black that's in the pattern and it'll just look that much more um, realistic. So you can really see like the shadows and highlights and everything, right? Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, click on the pattern, the thumbnail here, and you can change the scale. I usually just go in like multiples of 25. So like 25, you can see tons of the pattern. You could even double it to 200, you know, from our original 100. That's going to show less of the overall pattern, but it just like, you know, makes it really huge. It looks pretty dope. Um, all of my patterns included are seamless. If it's not a seamless pattern, it's going to be a lot harder to change the scale. Um, and it just might look sort of whack overall um, <laughs> if you use a, a seamless or a non-seamless pattern. But yeah, that's how you do that. You can also just like, when you have this pattern fill box open, you can just drag around the pattern to wherever. Like if you want this leaf or whatever to sit on the shoulder, you can move it over here. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty dope. You can mess around with that a ton. Um, the last thing I wanna show you is, let's get rid of this pattern fill. So this puffer jacket is also split up into individual sections. So if you just hide this layer, which is like the solid colors, that that's the whole jacket hide that, and then go down to the individual sections, you can change all of these different sections. So you can see there's already some pattern fills in here that I included, just so you know like how to do it, I guess. But like, you can just go to the right sleeve, for example, highlight that, um, remove the right sleeve color, because we we're, we're not gonna be using a solid color, we're gonna use a pattern. So highlight right sleeve, and then just click a pattern, and you'll see just the right sleeve um, is filled with a pattern now, right? So you can do the same thing for the left sleeve color. Maybe you wanna 
do some crazy like heat map stuff on this side. I don't know, whatever you guys are into, but it's really cool. Like you can do the same thing that I was showing you before. Like you can change the scale. You can mess around with where the pattern sits on the sleeve, all that stuff. So this is the first uh, quick tip, quick tips. I don't know what I'm going to call this series, but anyways, short video. Hope this is helpful. Peace.